Good morning. Good if you morning. will take your hand out and turn to the back page, the inside of the back page, I'm going to begin with reading just a few of the quotes of Six Disciplines Execution Revolution, solving the one business problem that makes solving all other problems easier. I'll begin with the first quote. All revolutions are based on a core set of values. The first premise of this book is that what most business leaders think is their greatest challenge isn't. All business leaders face new challenges each day, are tempted to think of the latest problem at hand as their biggest. No matter what the problems are today, however, they'll be different tomorrow and they will be bigger. There is one business problem that, if solved, makes solving all other problems easier. Knowing how to plan and execute while overcoming today's surprises. That's the most foundational capability any organization can have. The inability to do this is the problem that business leaders must solve with the capability to execute continuously. They gain control of their businesses. Without it, their businesses are relegated to a reactive, firefighting existence. Planning and executing, while at the same time managing the unknowns of the real world, is the biggest challenge in business. Yes, this is a continuation of a new theme in business books that started back with the book execution, which we did here a couple of years ago, that basically, and I go back to the football analogy, when a football team wins, they said, quote, we had a great game plan and we executed. When a football team loses, they never blame the plan. They never say we had a bad plan. They said we did not execute. Businesses rise or fall on whether or not they pull off putting out enough work to get the plan done. Execution. Uh, just one brief quote in the next one. I was in react mode. React mode is deadly. Drop down to the third, fourth quote from the bottom, fifth quote from the bottom. Walmart has embraced a culture of constant measurement and monitoring, where the mantra is better, faster, cheaper. They are not great at execution because they're big. They're big because they're great at executing their strategy. Go to the back of that page. Now, very seldom do I put a quote in boxes. I put a box around this one. I think you'll see why at the first Friday book synopsis I put a quote box around this quote. It's better to have grade B strategy and grade A execution than the other way around. That's a quote from Michael Porter. A final argument that execution is business's biggest challenge is the growth of the business improvement industry itself. As business leaders, we're voracious seekers of business improvement ideas in the form of conferences, books, blogs, training, and the first Friday book synopsis. <laughs> we want our performance to be better, and we know it should be better. And then just two more, drop down just past halfway from page 69. C.S. Lewis has long been one of my favorite writers. This is a great quote from C.S. Lewis. First, human beings all over the earth have this curious idea that they ought to behave in a certain way. Secondly, they do not, in fact, behave in that way. <laughs> These two facts are the foundation of all clear thinking about ourselves and the universe we live in. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the next quote, essentially, they, Weight Watchers counselors, give you the kind of advice that you probably learned in grade school. <laughs> and you pay them for it. It's money well spent. Boy, what a simple, brilliant observation. Okay, go back to the front now, and we'll go off through the content of the book fairly quickly. I've always, I always try to summarize the book in a box, and here's the box this time. If a business is always putting out fires, it can't focus on the better tomorrow it seeks. Having a plan to put out those fires while fully maintaining resources to stay on task is the path to success. Strategy, 
plus execution is the formula. And the greatest of these may very well be execution. All right. He wrote an earlier book on excellence, and he says excellence is the enduring pursuit of balanced strategy and execution. Strategy, deciding what to do. Execution, getting it done. Of the two, execution is more difficult to achieve. We are all capable of writing down, I'd like to lose this much weight. I'd like to exercise this many hours. I'd like to read this many books. And then we watch American Idol. <laughs> which I have, by the way, never seen. But that's irrelevant. <laughs> Strategy is choosing a set of activities to do and choosing what not to do. Good choices, good trade-offs. Strategy is combining the best choices and similar activities, and execution is continual improvement in those chosen activities. Now, in Chapter 1, he introduces the business excellent model, excellence model. Notice the quadrants. Strong strategy, there's a growth wave, that's not necessarily good in and of itself, and then balanced and predictable. That's strong execution with strong strategy. That's the quadrant you want to be in. 